Good day everyone, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis. I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. If you've just found my channel, well welcome. I hope you hit the subscribe button and join me. And if you're returning, well, goodness, thank you so much. It means so much to me. I love all your feedback. I love all your comments. But whether you're new here or you're returning, well, a very warm welcome indeed. And thank you so much. So we are on day 13 of the October pagan vlog challenge and the word today is superstition. Well, I know that growing up there was, uh, my family went through all of the superstitions and, and probably then some. <laughs> I, I remember going through, you know, doing my, my due diligence here and doing a little bit of research and thinking, yep, I, I heard that, I heard this, I've heard that. And then there's some that superstitions that my family did that I haven't heard or seen since. And I have to wonder, you know, was it a, a regional thing where I grew up or was it a family thing? So I, I'll share that with you in a little bit. And you guys can let me know if you've heard of those superstitions or not. But some more of unusual superstitions. Now, I can tell you, I don't go by a single superstition, period. I mean, I have a list here of these, these you know, uh, beginner's luck, find a penny, pick it up, and you have luck all day long. Um, don't walk under a ladder. Well, that's pretty common sense, I thought, just for safety's sake, not to do that. Black cats, well, we all know that's closely associated with witches. <laughs> so, um, a rabbit's foot will bring you luck, and, and we all know some of us, uh, you know, carry amulets and things like that. So, I guess, you know, in a way, I guess if you think a rabbit's good luck, you know, hey, who am I to judge, right? Bad, uh, bad luck comes in threes. Well, that's confirmation bias. Plain and simple. That's that's craziness, and of course not. You know, if you break a mirror, seven years bad luck, and all that kind of silliness. Uh, and I never. I I thought, well, if I broke a mirror, well, my goodness, that means I'm going to have to clean it up. <laughs> so, so. But some of the more unusual things that you may or may not have heard of is don't wish someone happy birthday ahead of time, either a day ahead of time or ahead of time in Russia. That definitely brings bad luck. So if you're ever in Russia, or the next time you're in Russia, don't wish anyone happy birthday ahead of time. <laughs> and in Mexico, supposedly, you don't place two mirrors opposite one another. Well, I've never, I'm a decorator, and I have honestly, I have never placed two mirrors opposite one another anyway. But in, allegedly, in Mexico, and it's facing mirrors opens a doorway for the devil. And in Japan, never stick your chopsticks straight up and never point them. Well, I can see where pointing them would be considered rude, but supposedly uh, sticking them straight up is a big no-no. Uh, if you receive a sharp gift like a knife or scissors, uh, something like that from someone, your best bet uh, would be to reach in your pocket or grab your purse and give them a, a penny, a coin, whatever it is that you have. You're supposed to gift them back something because allegedly uh, superstition has it that if you gift someone a sharp object, it severs the relationship. So if you exchange gifts, I guess that kind of null and voids it. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever heard it. Um, in the Philippines, and I can tell you in the Philippines they do this, and I can tell you in the South they do it as well too, but after a wake, don't, and, and you leave, don't go home. Uh, you can go out to eat at a restaurant, go shopping, do something, but it is said if the spirits are, are mulling about at the wake uh, and you leave, they you don't want to go straight home. You don't want to like bring them right into your house. And and like I said, I, I can tell you that's something we go by and that I've always done. 
Um, and in Germany, <laughs> next time we go there, uh, in German, German super superstition has it, you don't toast with water. Well, I can tell you, I've drank many a glass of water, and I've made a few toasts in my day, and I've never toasted with water. But supposedly, that means wishing death to the people you are toasting to. And it comes, now where from, but, but it's said to come from Greek mythology. So if anyone else knows about that, then please feel free to, to educate me here. Um, avoid sleeping with your head to the north. Uh, it's, in Japan especially because in in Japan that is how you were laid to rest and respectfully in don't lay your head in your bedroom to the West in Africa because again there I guess their burial ritual is the same way they they face uh, burials with their heads to the West in Turkey an itchy right hand means you'll come into money your left hand means that you're going to be losing money. So I, I often heard about an itchy nose. Uh, what does that mean? An itchy nose means companies, company, something like that. I, I, that's one of my memories. I, I remember uh, if your ears are burning, someone's talking about you. If your nose is itching, uh, someone's coming for a visit. Uh, but in Egypt, superstition if you see or hear an owl, bad news is on its way. Well, there you go. Now, some of the superstitions that, and I don't know if it was if it was child things that uh, our family did, or whether it was in the South, but I remember walking on, you know, sidewalks and things like that with my brothers and sisters, and they would tell me, and we'd be walking along, and they would tell me, well. You step on a crack and you'll break your mother's back. And I and I remember being very young going, what in the heck are you talking about? And I would avoid stepping on a crack simply because I'm going along with them. And then another one was, as you're riding along in a car or driving, uh, as you go over railroad tracks, everyone in the car, truck, vehicle, whatever it is that you're in, ra raises, your, you're supposed to raise your feet off of the floor of the, the vehicle. Now, that was never explained to me. I have no idea what it meant. And I guess I could phone my sister and ask her. She probably, you know, she probably would say, well, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know where these ever came from. But um, I don't go by any superstition. I, I just, honestly, the world is too scary enough as it is now anyway. So, there you go. That's my thoughts for today. But you know what? Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys have an awesome, wonderful day. And with that, I will say merry part. But I so, so hope to marry me again. Goodbye, guys.